Today we're pushing passive legends with the Three Musketeers. But well, before we start, let's get rid of these pesky pesky evolutions and let's get started. The reason I've took those evolutions out is because this deck is just so powerful that we don't even need the evolutions. I'm just going to do this first game evolution list, and the other two I will get them back on. But let's see how this goes. It's kind of weird not having evolutions now, but at the same time, it's a lot more balanced. So, good thing he plays his balloon really early into match when I didn't spend too much elixir, because now I can counter with my Three Musketeers. We will take some damage, but there's nothing wrong with a little bit of damage here and there. And while we got those musketeers up, we're going to start a little push here. Also, do let me know what you think about the audio. I'm trying to record everything on the phone instead of having an external mic. Because, like, I'm losing kind of some motivation for this game, so I'm going to skip some steps in order for me to keep making videos. Anyways, uh, now the time has come for me to put down a pump. He does have arrows, but I don't think he has a pump counter. Let's see what if he does, though. Maybe void. Oh my gosh! Yeah! I, I always forget to put the vo the pump one tall ahead whenever there's a void. It's just a really bad habit. I've been doing this for years, and the void comes up, and now I have to completely change where I put all my pumps. It's ridiculous. Alright, uh, you know, evolution pads would be really nice to wear, but I'm going to use a battle ram uh, to, to split up his push, and so I can uh, put out his MS from tears without um, him having, worrying, having to worry about him using a counter against my tears. Balloon is totally fine here. Yeah. I'll put him use arrows first. Actually, whatever. Arrows. Get bats and try to save us some damage. He does get hit, but that's fine. Getting his those uh, pups to stay long enough uh, for my musketeers to stay still. I put out my bandage so early because the reason for that was um, trying to bait out uh, barbarians potentially. Oh, so he doesn't have Heal Spirit will help me uh, help these musketeers get through this Valkyrie. And we got a barbarian to tank for my musketeer. Get a little bit of shots into this tower. There we go. We're almost there. And double looks is about to hit. I'll try to put down one more pump. And I also have Babs this time around to help me counter his void. Come on, void it. The only way to counter void, I believe. What was that? What was that? Did you use Zapper or something? The uh, best way to counter void. Uh, like you have to, I think you have to hover your troop on top of Void or else you can't counter attack. I'm not sure if that's true or not, but that's what I've been doing, and it's been working pretty well. It's not like you have to place it on my side, so I can get Um, there is that. Uh oh, when I get away, okay, good thing is, the musketeers are out of range. I gotta be careful with these bats, because I'm not going to stand to wreck them if I'm not careful. Uh, we'll pop and for his way to get Oh, gosh. oh, it's gonna come down to who can take their each other's tower first. Oh, these shrimps tears to do that. Oh, please don't get that bomb into my tower. Take care of him, please. That void's not gonna save you, but I gotta use, I gotta be quick. Okay, never mind, the bomb didn't connect. We'll just uh, we'll try to steam roll over this guy and try to get that first win. Today. There we go. And I just see, I didn't even need evolution. So, like, if you don't have the evolutions, you don't have to use them. If you have other evolutions like the Evolve Zap, uh, you could use Evolve Zap instead of Barbaro or something. But the reason I prefer um, Barbaro instead of Evolve Zap currently is because, like, Bar Barbaro can counter Evolve Firecracker every time you use it if you use it correctly. The Evolve Zap can only counter Firecracker if you use it at the right time, which is ridiculous. Uh, I'm gonna try to use Pump someone. Uh, it's kind of weird. Like, why? What, like, in evolutions, you get a better troop, yes. But in return, you uh, see where your opponent's places their uh, goblin drill, goblin barrel. It, it, it's kind of dumb. I'm not sure if that was a glitch or what, but like, I can see where the, wherever my opponent puts it's, it's goblin barrel. Also, another thing is, um, this is my first game against y'all. No, first, um, it's been, I played a game with goblin drill before, but this is my first game today playing against goblin drill. Goblin drill is just so powerful. It's gonna get an emergency nerf once everyone, uh, once they get a bunch of money out of it. <laughs> which is ridiculous, but uh, that's the game of Superstar right now. Basically, just sell a bunch of broken cards and uh, make a bunch of money. Uh, that's right. He does have Earthquake, which kind of makes you think does not have a proper heavy spell. That could be wrong. I'm gonna use a bucket on the other two and one spell. There we go. He did use Earthquake, which means he can throw it in the pump. We can start pushing. Let's see what this was going to do. This tier gets two hits against Cannoneer. Okay, I don't uh, quite know every Cannoneer interaction yet. I'm going to get this Cannoneer. 
There we go. <laughs> uh, pump in the middle. And... I think the reason Goblin Drill is so powerful is because, like, normally when you place Goblin Drill, you just place something on top of it, and it uh, only places one or two goblins. But with Goblin Drill, uh, when you place something on top of it, it gets out of the way, and it proceeds to place the three goblins just from its death, or, like, moving around. I'm gonna put down bats early so they can get a lot of extra health. Also, you may have noticed only I'm using Cannon Ear. Cannon Ear is um, a pretty good alternative. Because, oh no, the Musketeers! Get rid of that! Get rid of Monk! Get rid of Monk! Please! Oh, I was gonna use the Barbarian Bell, that would have been a, dis a disaster. Let's see those Musketeers just arrive. Musketeer and Lord, that's gonna get a few hits. Uh, here's a good chance to show you the power of Barbarian Bell. Uh, yeah, see? And I didn't have to wait for an evolution, that's the best part about it. So, like, sometimes I purposely save my my zap just for the evolved firecracker, and I end up wasting a lot of cards. Uh, there, there's, oh, come on. But there's, like, a lot of good zaps I could have made. Oh, no, I can't even use that. I want to use a Barbarian Bell. But hopefully my most kids are to make it on these zaps. Battle Ram on the right hand side, because he's played a lot of elixir. Oh gosh. Oh gosh. We're gonna take some damage. Oh! This is not gonna kill us, but it's gonna hurt. Oh, and yes! Evolve Trail, Golden Knight, please make a difference. Alright, I'm gonna just play some of the shoes. Two and right to side him, because, like, he's always just in the north against me. No, Oh gosh. Uh, wait, that might have been too. Oh, Goblin Drill is doing some damage. But it's fine, we actually countered it! Okay, now we can make a dual lane push, but we gotta be quick, because this Earthquake is coming up soon. So, let's do this. Come on, come on. And there we go, that was a close game. I was thought I was gonna lose there, but we didn't. Nice Alright, we do have one more game. Hopefully, uh... Whenever I record on this phone, I got like uh, two different iPhone 11s, uh, like a 11 Max and 11 uh, Normal or Pro, whatever they're called. I don't remember. But like, whenever I record on this phone, it tends to lose my recording. So like, if I don't push, it's because I keep losing my recordings to this phone. I really love this phone though, because um, it's smaller, but in return, it has no storage. All right, I'm going to go into the ability. I probably didn't have to go into the ability. There's a special way you want to counter um, Goblin dr Barrel with a Golden Knight ability, but I can't show you right now. Cause like, I'll show you guys the next time, the next Goblin uh, Barrel. Uh, I'm going to use bats, but not like this. Nope! Let's see what comes up. Oh, we're spending way too much elixir on the back of the Oh, but it works out pretty well. And the good thing about this deck is, um, Cannoneer normally sucks against Splash, but we have enough Splash troops. We have the Golden Knight and the Barbarian Barrel to make up for that. In case, uh, someone brings too much Splash. I really need to keep putting Pump. One tile up, I keep forgetting. The reason I put it in the corner is because, like, that's how I've been top. Uh, I've been doing that for years. Uh, because Miner used to be actually be a threat back then, but not anymore. Uh, I'm gonna use a battle ram in front of this. I wanna see what he has before I use my golden ability. I wanna use this one so Alright, golden ability. We'll get us connected to the tower since we placed that weapon thing. Ooh, it's only I waited a little bit longer though. That's I'm gonna use some nice stuff to use my barbarian now. Okay, bats are not gonna do anything. But he does not have a pump counter. And as you can see, we are abusing it. Here's my third pump. He was crazy. He could place on a evolved garbage barrel and take care of both of my pumps. That would be annoying. Don't do that. Don't do that, man. Don't do it. I'm watching it. Okay. That's some tears. Because they're a perfect counter to recruits. It's like they killed them off before they can get their charge attacks. I'm gonna put down uh, that ram before you put down the Yeah. Uh, I'm really for him to put down a. Uh, Game. Oh, forget it, we're using it right now. <laughs> and, um, Golden Ability is charging, but we can have a ball down on the right hand side. And we just put this push count for everything we got. And, 
it is looking pretty powerful. Like I said, it's strong. Not anymore, actually. Um, and I'm gonna use a go net here. Please connect. No! If only I swam to take care of his goblins on the What? Look at all these goblins. Oh, you have so many speed goblins. Stop. Goblin fail, please. No. Uh, okay, Probably using can here is um, the vault barrel is as strong as the like the dummy barrel is as strong as the the normal barrel if you leave them alone because like can here will one shot them <laughs> either way and this should be able to be a bit of a and there we go. Thank you guys so much for watching and I'll see you guys all next time. Bye bye.